Hello everyone, it's Chuck Thunder, and we're back with another episode, and in this episode we're going to show you how to unlock San Francisco. Now this may be a little bit of a lengthy episode, because there's going to be a handful of things to do that take a while. I might cut the video and reattach the parts that I don't need to show you, and all that other business to kind of cut through the chaff of sailing, but... I want to discuss how to unlock San Francisco and then show you the general way to uh, unlock it. Now, I've never done it before, so bear with me. I'm doing it at, with my character for the first time. But I will read you some of the information I got from the UWO headquarters blogspot that tells you how to do it. Um, pretty much that's where I get all my information from. I just regurgitate it in video form for you. So, requirements to unlocking it. So, you've I'm assuming you've watched all of my other videos beforehand and on how to unlock a lot of the port permits. So this is one of those ones in which that you need to do a handful of things first. You need to have at least the East Asia permit unlocked, the West Coast and North America permit unlocked, 10,000 adventure fame, and um, it could or may or may not be the case anymore, but generally speaking by this point you have plenty of fame. And then uh, complete this quest which is called searching further for a new world you need to get that quest in Marseille in the Adventure Guild sorry if you hear my cat meowing he's doing his typical morning routine of meowing at the sunrise I guess um, but anyways so searching further for the new world in the Marseille Adventure Guild. Now I've already gone and done that myself but I'm already here in Marseille the Adventure Guild is here which makes life uh, easy to find. You just click it and take you there. Um, and then from there, you need to uh, get the quest. Now, that may be the hard part, is getting the quest, because the quest may not show up initially. Um, it's not going to be one of those things that just pops up automatically. You might have to you know, re-roll your quests, and you use that QMP that you've been getting from all your uh, uh, discoveries, you get QMPs when you discover something and then report them to the correct person, which I believe I've talked about before in other videos. Once you've done that and you've got enough QMPs, it would get, say, 25 to 50 just in case. I don't remember how many it would hook me to get it, but I do remember taking me several of them to get it. Um, and then once the quest pops, then you can grab it. The quest has a few requirements, really basic ones speaking French and or um, North American languages I believe but don't worry about that body language should get you through it all if you I don't remember if this was an issue with me or not um, not having French may not have made it roll so when doing the QMPs so I suggest at least having French if you have a slot available to try this quest out if not um, that may be your hang up. I'm not, not entirely sure if it's not rolling for you. But otherwise, get French. I don't have French right now, and I've gotten as far as I have without it, and I don't think I'm going to need it going forward. But to get the quest to drop, you might have. So, anyways, those are the only requirements. And then um, you don't uh, need sea charting for the Laguarian Sea anymore. Uh, that used to be a requirement, no longer. But now. Once you've done all that, you're going to talk to the Adventure Medium or say you're going to equip the Adventure Graduate title if you have it to increase the number of quests available. That's another qu a Q uh, tip. QMPs are necessary, potentially, but if you already have an Adventure Graduate title, you should be using that. I don't think I used it at the time, and I didn't realize that was a particular problem. Um, I used Merchant Graduate, so that might have been part of the issue. But I have an Adventure Graduate, so title given to... Voyager after completing the adventure course of the Voyager Academy job assignment. So this is what you get for finishing the adventure course. So make sure you have that done. I don't think it changes anything necessarily. Um, you might need to change these in order to wear certain clothing. Uh, in order for me to wear my current outfit, I believe that's one of the reasons why I have this. Yeah, I need to require a title merchant guard. I can't wear the School of Kamal outfit without it. So make sure that you have that so it does have does help for some things but anyways that would help get you to drop the quest then you're going to the tavern it'll tell you to do that to talk to Marseille so I'll show you the quest here first page said to say Justine claims that the area being developed in East North America is too small for the number of developers you were asked to help her in search new world the merchant guild masters Marseille said to have more information on this go ask him about the details so 
that would be talking to Justine. Um, uh, after talking to the Justine, you go to talk to the Merchant <laughs> Guild guy again. So you're going back and forth between the two. And then go to the landing point in North America West is the next step. So you'll see here, that's what it says. Finding out about the actions of our pioneer group, she became determined to quickly head for the west coast of America, North America. So in order to show you that, I wanted to open the map here. Uh, it is all the way out here. There's the North America West Coast landing point. That's where we're going to need to go. Notice I don't have anything discovered over here. I don't have San Francisco, nothing of that nature. Um, I have East Coast, I have Boston, and I have my um, Campina. I guess that's my um, guild. I don't really know. Uh, I have this discovered, and I have all of this discovered. This will be a lot easier if you have unlocked the Panama Canal, which I believe I've showed you guys how to do that as well. I forget. I think it's Portobello I need to go to in order to use it. Um, but that's what we're going to do. You don't need to unlock it, but there's one way to get between them faster. Um, I'm pretty sure I have the Panama Canal unlocked, but again, remember, canals can only be used if you have no um, items with you, nothing in your cargo. So, so I would just make sure to have that uh, sold and everything figured out before you try tra traversing. I have some things on me now. I'm going to go to Portobello. I'm going to attempt to cross here to the Panama Canal, and hopefully that works, because I want some mower on this side, then it'll just be sailing up the west coast to get to the North American West landing point. Once you're there, um, uh, with Justine will be there uh, at the entrance, and I could use uh, that. Uh, once I get there, I'll use the recording here to show you where she is as I'm arriving. I think I'll probably skip over the sailing part to it. And then once we're there, um, uh, we follow Justine north, uh, keep talking to her, and just and then she decides to leave for San Francisco. So that's like one of the final steps there. Then we go to San Francisco and talk to Justine. So uh, there's a little map that I'm not going to show you, but if you go to the blog spot, uh, I'll point them out on my map when I'm there. That shows you where to go um, and then where to request, uh, uh, you know, where to hand in the quest in San Francisco. Um, so there we go. I'll show you guys how to do that once I get over there. But for in the meantime, um, we are going to get into our ship and begin sailing. Um, you guys might have noticed I'm using this app uh, over here. Um, it's in my little. It's on my. For you guys, it's right in this general region. Um, and this is a little uh, program called GBO Navish, which I use to help utilize and show the map of the world which I can drag around and show you everything about it so this kinda shows you everything which is great because we're gonna need it to see the whole world and all that business and what's really great when you're using your um, uh, charting skill here what's the skill that we use I forget what it's called surveying when the surveying is on it'll show you your little triangle as your ship and the direction you're sailing at the speed you're sailing your cord it's everything so it's a really great um, it's really great for that so if you want it um, I'll see if I can put a link in the description if not um, the uh, link can be found by googling it and the way I googled it today is I typed in UWO fan group Facebook on that page you'll see it in uh, one of the featured items and it's a uh, downloadable link through there and by far the safest link I've ever used to uh, to get it so definitely um, definitely definitely make sure you uh, use this for questing if you haven't been using it all along since my other videos I don't think I ever showed you how to do it um, it's really really helpful because sometimes this other little mini map just isn't enough so without further ado let's get ourselves situated here um, we have the right ship for our situation right now so let's go ahead and get ourselves. Oh, we got a shipwreck mark piece. That's nice. Um, let's get ourselves situated here for a reasonably long trip. It's not going to take 17 days, but you know, you never know. Uh, and I could make this faster if I didn't uh, auto sail it. Um, so I'm not going to auto sail it here. I'm going to attempt to use my uh, ship acceleration and all this other stuff. So here we are in Marseille. We know it is um, out this direction. So let's go ahead and use my surveying skill. 
I like to use frugality and I like to use caution sometimes but it's already like rank 9 so let's do some fishing as along the way and let's see is this working there we go tracks I had to make sure to track position my own ship right click view the course I don't know if you guys can see any of this but make sure that you right click it here and show the positions of the ship view the course show your speedometer always display on top that way it's always visible um, and there you go so now we are um, sailing here yeah it's not show, it's showing my speed is 6.5 knots which is nice um, it's also showing my general direction with this pink line here this is the line that's showing um, course management ah, okay so it shows you our coordinates that's nice uh, how do I get rid of that now there we go uh, so on show so on is so worth it's just one of the best tools in the game already at nine knots um, so yeah we're going to begin sailing out there um, uh, once we hit the Atlantic Ocean we'll turn on our ship acceleration um, and get rid of the uh, uh, fishing uh, skill here because we don't need that but yeah so this is what we're going to be doing for the next short while I'm going to stop the recording and resume recording uh, once we get to the Panama Canal so I can show you guys how to cross that if you haven't done that before um, and then I will um, do it again cut to the video and reopen when we arrive or are close to arriving to San Francisco alright so everybody thanks for watching again we'll see you shortly alrighty everybody we're just pulling up to Portobello now it took us a little bit of time to get here because of a few ambushes um, and a few things like that um, be prepared for ambushes be sure to have some tributes on you uh, for brigands it's important um, you know that's kind of important <laughs> um, make sure you don't get you know destroyed on the way over uh, also I had to stop in Santiago to restock and sell some things because I don't need to have everything here now before we do the Panama Canal remember we need to make sure we don't have our goods on us otherwise it might cost us a fee so we're gonna go ahead and try to sell first um, I'm, tell I'm talking with other people in game two or about other ways to improve your internet connection because <laughs> I also lost internet on the way over here a couple times um, so, uh, you know, got to make sure you um, become prepared for all the, the issues that you're going to see uh, on the way over here. One of them being that I lost internet a couple times and had to use my hot, Wi-Fi hotspot in order to make it work. So be prepared for stuff like that. Yeah, and he's talking about doing internet connections with Ethernet or power over Ethernet. I've thought about using other methods like like coax cables too but yeah just two yeah I, I don't know I haven't really thought much through I mean I have thought a lot about it um, but it's just it's just too much anyways uh, let's not get into how to make your internet better let's just at least get into how to make this game better so all right so navigate the canal it's gonna cost 155 cost to get through so we'll get from over to Panama and it should connect us right over to Panama okay now it says we're in Panama uh, make sure our stuff is fully stocked for a decent sale I don't know how many days it's gonna be um, so I'm gonna go prepared for at least a 20 day sale um, uh, I thought about changing ships to something that has cannons because I might want to defend myself but to be completely honest so long as I have my um, uh, tributes I will be fine and I have about 20 of them left so I should be okay um, now you can't auto sail now I thought oh let me auto sail to uh, this region but you can't auto sail to landing points you can only auto sail to cities so it's gonna be a little bit before we get there again so we're probably gonna sail auto sail to Acapulco just because I need to do a few things real quick and then from there I will sail, my, sail myself so um, you know We'll be back again as soon as we get to the North Landing Point. Um, I've got a handful of things I'm going to go complete outside of the world of UWO while this auto sails. 
put myself on caution, frugality, and surveying, um, just so I know where I am. Is this going to update? Yes. Check the position of my ship. There we go. All right, so there we go. We're going to be back again shortly when everything has uh, gotten us landed in the northwestern landing point of the United States. We'll be there shortly. Take care. All righty. We are just about here. Um, you'll see now on my right is this tree-like area, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, we are now just about arriving to the North American West drop-off point. We stopped in at San Francisco. I don't know if you could see my little GVO Navish map, uh, just to restock, but couldn't go inside of it, technically, so San Francisco is not accessible until we do this. So we are making it to the landing point. Now we are going to explore the land, and I believe this is how we're going to find Justine. There she is. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and talk to her. You know, because women wore shorts like that in the uh, 1500s. <laughs> All right. Um, or 1600s. Uh, let's see. Finally here. Blah, blah, blah. This is different. I just skip all this. Now we're just going to keep on going through her prompts. I don't think I've ever followed the story of this game ever, but one way or another. No, I'm supposed to follow her. Okay, so she doesn't actually need to be followed anywhere. She kind of just disappears. So this is um, where you would read the quest information and then you would find out where to go to next. Once arriving, Justine admits to feeling conflicted regarding a new life on a of a beaver for the sake of collecting its fur. For now, it was decided to simply roam around the land to consider what to do while in search of a beaver. So that's what we're searching for, apparently, is a beaver. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and use our surveying skill here. And we are located here. Um, the first location that we're going to be headed is going to be right around here, I believe. No, maybe not. Maybe not. That's probably where we were with her. All right, so now we're going to head up to this northern section here. Yeah, there she is. Yeah, she just keeps kind of scattering around looking for this beaver. So that was the first location. The second location will be here, and she's going to go to another one probably shortly after we finish talking to her again. Dramatic music for finding a beaver. When did you get there? Did you find the beaver? <laughs> yeah, we all know where your beaver is, uh, Justine. All right. Um, that is not a beaver. Looks like some middle-aged guy. Who needs help? I'm not a beaver. Let's go help him. All right, now we need to go help this man. Sitting man. <laughs> oh god, you gotta love this game sometimes. Oh, goodness. Sitting man. His pants got stuck on this trap. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is such a silly little conversation. So you find a man who had his butt chewed up by a, a trap, um, probably a beaver trap, which is weird because beavers were never really... I mean, yes, they were a thing, but like, I don't know if that's how they trapped beavers. Bear traps. <laughs> That made it seem like he got his butt caught in. I mean, how do you get your butt caught in a beaver trap, dude? All right. I'm looking for beavers in there for... Come to my town. To your town? Just by how I appear, I'm also building a city. We're progressing development. I have a pioneer. So this is our little invitation to San Francisco. G 
gold. Yeah, when you can now mine for gold around here now, hence the little mining little symbols in the map that we saw before. best thing about this game is that what you select doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what I read, what I click. Alright, so we should be getting about done here. His horse has returned. Okay. The name of his horse is Kate, or that's his wife, I don't know. Anyways... Must have been Sutter's Mill. That's what we're, kind of, I guess, referring to here. The real gold rush. San Francisco, what sort of city it will be like? Okay, looks like we're at that point where we finished that. Used my surveying skill. Should we? Okay, so claims that she wants to see around the city. John says that he had southward San Francisco first part and head for the south. Alright, so that's that simple. We just made it to San Francisco now. Um, so that's what we're going to go do next, is we're going to sail back to San Francisco, which is just south of here. Um, and then we got to talk to Justine some more. There's always some talking involved. So let's get back to our ship and begin sailing back. So, rather than cutting short our conversation here today and then going back you know cutting the, the video why don't we use this opportunity can we can we do auto sailing I'm really curious can we auto no we can't because we haven't discovered it yeah there's no way duh all right so we're gonna set sail and just head south of here straight to San Francisco All right, so while I have you guys, uh, I'm going to update you about my life here in the game and outside of the game. Moved into a house in the last two years, had a baby in the last seven months, and here I am trying to squeeze in gaming every so often. My son is sleeping downstairs again. He cried just a moment ago for some food, gave him some food, and now he's back to napping again. He had a rough night, didn't sleep the whole night through, so needed a moment. I guess to catch his uh, sleep up a little bit. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much what my life has been like. I've been dying to get back into this game to finally unlock San Francisco so I could use it to uh, fast travel from the Atlantic's uh, ocean to the Pacific Ocean and then using that to get to uh, doing uh, Nanban and or East Asia goods. I'm uh, just trying to explore different ways around the map. I've always wanted to unlock the Northwest Passage too, but don't know that that's in the cards. I mean, I don't know how important that unlocking that Northwest Passage really truly is to the gameplay. Um, I don't think I would necessarily feel like it's necess you know important for me, but if it is something for you, there is a quest line for it, um, which I, depending on what it seems like for my sake, I may avoid getting into it. Um, depending on how involved it is. Uh, but, who knows, might have a chance. Um, but in the meantime, let's just put that in the pin in that one, see if we have time to go do that recording at some point. If not, um, what we will do is we will share after this video a few more uh, videos of just me playing the game, doing some other things, um, earning money, uh, maybe playing with other friends in the game, doing my other games as well, and then uh, also um, uh, maybe doing some live streaming if my internet connection will handle it. Uh, as of right now, I've got to say I'm still using my hotspot because that seems to be the only thing that allows me to stay reasonably connected at a speed capable of playing this game right now. A lot of the other games I play are single player offline games, so this was one of the only ones that requires a staple internet connection, so I don't worry about it too much. All right, so here we are, arriving back to San Francisco. Well, let's finish the other half of this quest. So we have to talk to Justine in the harbor. Uh, well, 
Um, so yeah, we'll finish talking to Justine. Blah, 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 blah. Get through all this. And once this is done, I'll have to talk to her one more time near the bank. And then we just need to report the quest in, which I'm not going to show you how to do because you have to sail back to a place that you can do that at. Uh, and here we are. Discovered San Francisco. One more time to talk to Justine here. And we should be good. Blah, blah, blah. Get this all done. Blah, 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 blah. And we're done, I think. I think. Quest information obtained. Nope, we still have more. She walked away again. There she is. She was just getting carried away, running away from me. She's just overwhelmed with how amazing San Francisco is. Oh, gosh, come on, let's get this over with. I hate conversations in this game, but this is how you do it, guys. You gotta click through all this garbage conversation, and then next thing you know, it's done. Now, obviously, you've unlocked San Francisco. You could stop here, obviously, but you do need to finish doing this if you want to get the quest done. So that's what we're going to try to do, and then we're going to be able to uh, get ourselves. Now, I wonder if I unlocked Omaha. If you unlocked Omaha, quest complete. Yep. So there we are we're done and then there are things I we might be able to go to the the tavern here um, wherever it is and at the tavern you might be able to report your quests I don't think you can though um, but one way or another you guys now know how to unlock San Francisco go get your quest finished uh, report it and you'll be all set and then you could use this to uh, do your deal from traveling back and forth from the east coast of the United States to the west coast and with less to worry about. Let's see. Do I have anything to give her? No. Alright, whatever. She doesn't do me any good. But anyways, everybody, I hope this was helpful, that you've now learned how to unlock San Francisco and that you're good to go on that. And we'll hopefully see you. Oh, okay. Something I didn't realize that was important that you should do. Talk to these guys every so often. Um, <laughs> hopefully this was helpful to you and that you guys are uh, able to continue exploring UWO in this grand world that it truly is. Everybody, this has been Chuck Thunder. Thank you again for watching, and I hope this was helpful. We'll talk again soon. Take care, everyone.